Hello and welcome to the latest in a series of interviews highlighting the strategic value of public relations to business. I'm Koray Kamgos from the Chartered Institute of Public Relations and I'm very pleased to be joined by Vicky Davis here at Danske Bank. Vicky, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. How important do you feel public relations and communications is for protecting and strengthening corporate reputation? Reputation is everything in business and a great PR and comms team is as good as managing your reputation when things don't go well as in promoting uh, when things do go well. And we're really fortunate here to have a team of six fantastic communication specialists. Banking is one of those um, parts of our life that is, is absolutely ubiquitous. You know, a million times a week customers are using their bank cards. A million times a week customers are logging onto their apps to manage their money. So if things go wrong, it quickly becomes noticeable. So our team of specialists are fantastic at managing those situations when things don't go quite as planned, but also promoting some of our new fantastic digital developments so our customers know as well when there's things that are going well and when there's improvements that they can really take advantage of. As a director, what do you look for from your PR and communications teams? Look very much for that external insight and external um, perspective and, and relationships. Um, and I think that's something unique that our PR professionals can really bring to us. The other thing I think is absolutely fundamental is really understanding of the customer. It's too easy to get swept up in what does the bank want to say to the customer as opposed to what does the customer need to know from us. And I think that's something our PR professionals do really, really well. So thinking about the individual traits and attributes that distinguish public relations professionals from others, what are the things that you look out for? I think it's that um, that calmness under pressure is absolutely fundamental. You know, every business from time to time that there's a crisis or an incident that needs dealt with, uh, and the ability to think clearly and logically through those steps uh, is really critical to us. Uh, second would be that ability to bring those external relationships and, and nurture external relationships for, for the benefit of the bank and the customers. Uh, and thirdly is actually being what I call quite, quite organised and quite strategic in approach. You know, we're a bank, um, so we role play uh, in a number of different scenarios what would happen if something went wrong. And being prepared and uh, organised for those times of crisis uh, is something that we really value in the people that we have in our business. And are there any examples that you can point to that highlight the role that public relations and communications can play? Yeah, one of the trends that's common across the industry at the moment is that to branch mergers um, and branch closures. And we're seeing a huge trend with our customers in terms of moving to digital channels and using more um, digital technology. And with that comes the tough trade-off decisions of what physical branches do we keep open. Uh, and managing that change through is something that all of our um, stakeholders uh, are interested in and all of our competitors um, you know, are, are, are working through. So our PR professionals are absolutely fundamental in when we do take the tough decision to close a branch, um, communicating to the stakeholders, be that politicians, local consumer groups, customers, so that people really understand the rationale behind the decision, but also understand that it's not a zero-sum game, that there's in return a lot of investment going in new ways of banking. So that's an area that the team have been absolutely fundamental um, and have played a really fantastic part in. And do you think those experiences help raise the respect that public relations holds within the organisation? I think absolutely, and I would go further than that. I would say our, our team, uh, the PR team here, really has elevated themselves to, uh, to the role of trusted advisor particularly for the executive team, um, um, myself, uh, and our CEO. Um, you know, that ability to, to think clearly, that insight in terms of what's going on externally in the market and how our internal staff are feeling, and that trust that a really fantastic professional can, can engender in an executive team is something that we have here, and that's because we've got a really, really great bunch of people here. What are the biggest challenges you face in building trust with your consumers? And how does public relations and communications work to meet those? I think historically banking hasn't um, always had the best reputation and that's very much come as a result of the financial crisis. But banking does play a really important role in my view in society. We're the ones that customers come to to buy their first home or to get the money to grow their business. And we're fortunate here in Danske Bank that we never needed to be bailed out and that we were the first of the local banks to return to, to profitability. 
Um, so that reputation um, that we have built of being um, being a market leader has come and very much been supported, you know, by, by our PR and communications team, by building our reputation externally with stakeholders, by communicating well with customers, by engendering that sense of belief from staff has all played a critical role in us becoming the largest bank uh, in Northern Ireland. So the PR and comms effort behind that has been really fundamental. If you could send one single message to business leaders and CEOs about public relations and communications, what would that be? It's absolutely essential. You need the right people at the right level uh, with the right experience. And it can be more, much, much more than something that gets uh, PR out there to a trusted advisor uh, type role for your business, uh, something that can really grow the reputation and support you meeting your business objectives. Vicky, thank you very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure to have you.